यहां एक है साइड क्वेस्ट इसका ऑफ कोर्स वो बंदी का नाम भूल गया मैं उसके लिए जो भी करना है ताकि वो लीग ऑफ मर्चेंट्स है जो भी पावरफुल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसे रिक्रूट करने आई थी बंदी को उससे जुड़ जाए वो वाला क्वेश्चन होगा मेरे हिसाब से ये आह क्लाइव यू बी प्लीज टू नो दैट द नेगोशिएशंस आर प्रोग्रेसिंग वेल दैट इज गुड न्यूज़ यस आह कॉम्रेड इन रंडला हैज जस्ट सेंट वर्ड दैट द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट शुड बी साइन वेरी सून बट आई स्टिल हैव मच एंड मोर टू प्रिपेयर इट्स अ ह्यूज अंडरटेकिंग मूविंग दिस मेनी बेयर्स एट वंस यू कुंट डू मी अ क्विक फेवर कुड यू What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. Trading places too. पता नहीं ये आखिरी होगा कि नहीं पर इसके एंड में मेरे हिसाब से एलॉइस एलॉइस उसका नाम हां एलॉइस वो जुड़ जाएगी उसके साथ लीग के साथ किससे बात कर रही है डोंट ब्लेम योरसेल्फ एल दिस इज देयर फॉल्ट नॉट योर्स आई नो बट नो बट्स अबाउट इट ऑल राइट इज समथिंग रॉन्ग Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no opportunity to make a counteroffer. None at all. And we were so close. Elle, what's happened? I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. But I thought we were the only ones the fist was speaking to about the bearers. How did the consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually, and at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randall Al myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? Well, it looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from from meeting the Silver Peak consortium. Who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it but is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randall and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. All right. To Randalar then. I better not keep Eloise waiting. I think something might be wrong with Theo. He never plays with us anymore. We want to cheer him up, but we don't know any good jokes. आशम जोको बो को भी पैट कर पाते हैं टॉर्गल को पैट कर सकता है सही है तो मैं जोको बो को भी पैट करना चाहता हूँ 
इतने सही लगते हैं यार ये इसमें स्पेशली टेराबर्ड्स की तरह एकदम वेल टेराबर्ड्स का बीक ज्यादा बड़ा है पर फिर भी डैमेट पास में कोई भी नहीं है इसके पब्लिक्स टेलीपोर्ट करने के लिए यही सबसे पास है This isn't at all foreboding. Okay. मुझे कुछ आइडिया नहीं है कि क्यों है ये फॉरबोर्डिंग पहले कैसे था और अब कैसे है क्या डिफरेंस है मुझे कोई आइडिया नहीं है सही बोलूँ तो मैंने कभी भी ध्यान नहीं दिया ये एक्स का मैंने पहले भी देखा था एक दो बार पर मुझे लगा था कि वो एक्स दबाने पे क्या बोलते हैं बस एक जैसे मैं बोल रहा था उस पर एक्स दबाऊंगा तो वर्ल्ड मैप खुल जाएगा मेरे लिए अलग अलग ऑब्लिक्स पे टेलीपोर्ट करने के लिए तो ये उम्मीद नहीं थी कि एक कोई एक कुछ हुआ है उसके साथ तो ध्यान दिया होता तो मैं मुझे समझ में आता क्या फॉरवर्डिंग है उसके बारे में तो मैंने कभी ध्यान ही नहीं दिया उन पर अगर वीडियो देखूंगा फिर से जब एडिट कर रहा हूँ तब समझ में आ जाएगा मेरे हिसाब से अगर दिमाग में रहा जब वीडियो एडिट कर रहा हूँ कि देखूँ कैसे दिख रहा है जब पहली बार ऑब्लिक्स दिखता है मुझे तो बाद में अभी कैसे दिख रहा है और मोस्ट प्रॉब्लम मेरे दिमाग में रहेगा नहीं तभी तब कॉल कॉल नो कॉल नहीं है वाई वन एक वो वापस चले जाओ वापस चले जाओ डर रही है इतने पास ला लिए इनको कि ये डर गई You wished to consult with me. I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves, and then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not mutual. And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay. That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I, but I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more, and he did just that. 
As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randalar. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. They need help, and fast. Theo! I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. I'll gather some men and join you there. Just... Make sure he's safe. Hold on, Theo. I'm coming. Pass me. Go here. This is the one. Okay, I don't know how much I'm going to do. I don't know why I feel that our uncle is not here. He's not across the pond, right? Across the waters, my dear. वो तो यहाँ पर ही कहीं रहता है या थोड़ा ऊपर भी नहीं जा सकता अक्रॉस द वाटर्स मेरे हिसाब से ये कुछ होगा या ये इन उन दो जगह में से कोई एक होगा पता नहीं कौन सा वाला अब चलो क्या कर सकते हैं अभी के लिए मेरे हिसाब से तो वो ओडिन का ही जगह में क्योंकि वहाँ का किंग एक बेरर है एक बेरर नहीं आइकॉन ओ ओ ओ यहाँ से कूद सकता हूँ हाँ शायद पहले भी कूद चुका हूँ ऑलरेडी बल्कि एक ड्रैगन या वाइवन था ना लड़ने के लिए तैयार ओ यो मेरे हिसाब से उनके पीछे आगे गया वेस्ट द एडोर अप रिवर ही लेट द ड्रैगन दैट वे टू कीप इट फ्रॉम द विलेज बट द होल एरिया इज़ फ्लडेड विद ईसर वी जस्ट हैव टू प्रे मेक्स इट आउट इन वन पीस आई कैन डू बेटर देन दैट टोगल विद मी द एडोर लेट द ड्रैगन अप रिवर आई कैन टेल हिम � there's an ether flood up ahead. I know Theo's a bearer, but even he can't stay in there forever. Ooh, मुझे लगा था वहाँ पे कोई एक हंट होगा, पर ये निकला. इस साइड क्वेस्ट का फाइनल जहाँ पे हम वाइवन से लड़ेंगे, ड्रैगन वाइवन, ड्रैगन नहीं होगा, वाइवन होगा. I don't know why I forgot that he said that he was a dragon. He didn't say that he was a dragon. He couldn't be a dragon. The dragons are very big. Where are you, Theo? Oh, there's a lot of water. Oh, there's a lot of water. 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 Ooh! बहुत ही ज़्यादा एनिमीज़ हैं यहाँ पे। ओके उतने ज़्यादा नहीं जितना सोच रहा था। जा। मर। सही में? Ja, 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 ja. It's not sunny, it's not sunny. 
बस एक बचा है इसके बाद वाई वन आ जाएगा जिसको मैं आसानी से मार दूंगा उतनी आसानी से जिस मैं इनको मार रहा हूँ मैं Like it's found me. Well, dragon here. Yeah. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. Oh shit! Let's roll ready. Let's try. To me, boy. Da 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 da. It's not so easy to get there, Uga. इसको मारते जाओ और इसका हमला आप दिखेगा क्योंकि ऑलरेडी कुछ इतना बड़ा है नीचे आ जा और आधा भी नहीं कर पाऊंगा मेरे हिसाब से वो आधा कर दिया उसका सिख और में डिफरेंस क्या कोई आइडिया नहीं यार मेरे सही ओ इतना आसानी से नहीं टू स्लो Oh, he'll go. Ooh, how am I going to get around this? One point five for jump. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, stagger is almost done. What? Yes. सात हजार नौ सौ दस एकदम सही अटैक शिट निकाल दो कुछ हमला लग रहा भी कि नहीं ओह शिट आ जा आ जा जा इसको लगा तक नहीं यार सही में ओ नहीं नहीं हवा में मैंने डॉज कर दिया लगभग हो गया इसका मिनी सैगा अब फिर गाउज अटैक से इसका करो बाकी आधा आधे का आधा एक चौथा एक लाना है मुझे से ओ बिल्कुल नहीं इतना आसानी से नहीं करना होगा मान में क्या मैं बाबा भूल जाता हूँ इसको इस्तेमाल करना यूज इसके साथ वो फ्री मैं अच्छे से डैमेज कर पाऊंगा मैंने स्ट्रेंथ टॉनिक भी लिया है अभी शिट 
shit. Oh, 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Mara. Mano kya? Iske saath maarunga guys. Well, iske saath nahi maar paya mujhe se. Oh, nice. Hey, <laughs> keep us. I'm like I'm not a man, nigga. Clive, Theodore, you had me worried for. We have to get you out of here. I think it might be a little too late for that. There are or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid. For finishing what I could not. For keeping Elle's dream. Theodore. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. 
And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer, in more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him, and that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together, and you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... I know Theo wanted me to move on, but I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people, save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do, ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be, bringing smiles to people's faces just like we always have, and to Theo's. Wherever he is, this is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. What's that? Hey, this is... This is the Ooh. The emblem of the Crimson Caravan, sporters of wide renown. They are based in Boklad, where traders from across Valestia flock to browse the 10,000 tables and transport their ways either throughout the Dominion or on down the crystal road to the lands beyond. Kalit Cyclone. The Crimson Caravans is my family business now. 
and I would not exchange it for the world. I brought Theo here to be safe, and I have never looked back since. Eloise isn't the type to give up. Maybe not, but she'll still need our support. We're all going to have to look out for each other now. What's happened? The guards in the gate. ये कुछ बोलेगा क्या? ये जो rival है, इसका कोई dialogue होगा Eloise? Eloise के बारे में? Who needs a porter when there's nowhere left to go? Poor old Theodore. We may have been rivals in business, but I never wished him ill. चलो कुछ तो बोला. अब यहाँ के तीन हो गए हैं. यहाँ पे कितने हैं अभी? एक ही है बस. ओ द वेल है ये. देखे तो इस बेल को क्या हो गया? इस बेल या इस बेल? अंडर न्यू मैनेजमेंट है. इससे पहले रिटायर कर रही है क्या वो कैप्टन के साथ शादी कर ले रही है शादी करके रिटायर कर रही है So many were injured. Only by the grace of the goddess did so few succumb to their wounds. I'd say it was more the grace of the dame, but helps help, eh? Okay, so we'll see he throw our request. Isabel, Isabel, Annie. Oh, Clive, what am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial Government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northreach? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants, with promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me, I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason. He will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrek, a man whose stated aim is to revive the empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldiers' lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No, any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men, if it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. Who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then, where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? 
Overseeing the troops, yes. All right. Wish me luck. Under new management. Not exactly what I was thinking. This and that captain are not doing this. And this is not leaving the whale. The fact that the soldiers trust you may well carry some weight with the Duke. He needs their support after all. I only hope that you can make him see sense before he tears the town apart. Hello, they think you do go before at the remembrance ceremony. Let's hope I didn't make a strong impression. Remembrance ceremony, Mujay Yadni Ara Sabolun to Sandrekas, especially Bobby. It's heartening to see that the guard have rediscovered their purpose. I just hope they don't do anything stupid. We've lost enough people to those things. देख के शायद याद आ जाए कौन था ये बंदा मुझे तो नहीं लगता हॉल्ट ओह सॉरी अबाउट दैट यू आर द डेम्स मैन आर यू यू गोट सम बिजनेस विद द कैप्टन नो एक्चुअली विद द ड्यूक आई वाज होपिंग आई माइट बी एबल टू स्पीक विद हिम वी आर अंडर ऑर्डर्स नॉट टू लेट एनी सिविलियंस पास बट यू शुड बी ऑल राइट His Eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. So, you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underreckoned. But no more, for it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Care Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans. Are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbreck. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government, one whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary, so that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the empire. <laughs> and yet there are those. Who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes? I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that? You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. And in yours, there will be only beggars. 
Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. The citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. Let's see what those on the other side of the wall. Sabine. As long as you remain. You are embarrassing me. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself. Beach me fir se game audio ruk gaya. Kyunki wire halka sa hil gaya. Bahut acche. Sare ke sare bahar hi hain kya? Yes. Ek yahan pe ek yahan सारे के सारे ये मार्केट प्लेस में हैं। बात करते हैं। है क्या आप आपका आपका सर? जस्ट योर ओपिनियन एक्चुअली। आई व्हाट यू थॉट ऑफ़ द ड्यूक ऑफ़ ऑफ़ ओह हिम। नॉट मच। नन अस ट्रेडर्स डू। इट्स थैंक्स टू नोबल्स लाइक हिम दैट वी हैड टू सेट अप Now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint, tar bucket in hand. The duke might have soldiers at his beck and call, but us common folk follow the dame, and no one else. I heard the dame got an eye concert with the Meadows and those ghosts. Oh, come now. She surely cannot count a dominant amongst her clients. Can she? A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, earning for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. If he comes calling, the only thing I'm giving the Duke of Oriflam is a piece of my mind. Maybe a smack in the gob. Why, your stall is as ripe as a midden heap. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame, this is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Well, the people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? The dame actually cares about this town, unlike the duke. He's only interested in picking our pockets to line his own. I mean conqueror अगर highest level है किसी भी वो BGMI का तो of course मुश्किल ही होगा जो top रहता वो हमेशा मुश्किल होता है PVP में already सुन चुका पर फिर भी is बुरा नहीं है मैं तो उतना भी नहीं पहुंच पाता सही बोलूँ तो तीन महीने के ही होते हैं ना BGMI में भी season एस मास्टर नहीं था भाई एस डोमिनेटर के लिए जाओ एस डोमिनेटर के लिए ट्राई करना यू यू डी वन हु इस टॉकिंग टू इस एमिनेंस ऑन द डेम्स बिहाफ यस आई वाज ट्राइंग टू परसुएड हिम नॉट टू टेक द पीपल्स गुड विल फॉर ग्रांटेड बट इट सीम्स माय वर्ड्स फेल ऑन डेफ इयर्स 
What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do, not the other way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect for the dame, but I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie, not with the town or the empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us some men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the dame. But I'm with the Duke on this one. If turning this place into a fortress is what it takes to protect my family, I'll do it. As long as you remain, the veil will... I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sambrak is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. What the common folk don't understand is, this is for them too. Either we turn the Empire back into a force to be reckoned with, or we live in fear the rest of our lives. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a sword from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. I mean, it'd be nice if we could all do whatever the hell we wanted and not end up being torn to shreds by a swarm of fiends. But we can't, so we've got to make sacrifices, just like the Duke of Oriflam says. मुझे लगा था ये हर सीजन रिसेट होता है ब्रॉन्स से हर बार शुरू करना पड़ता है वैसे टाइप का होगा ओ ये बाहर अकेले कैप्टन डू यू हैव अ मोमेंट फॉर यू सर्टेनली क्लाइव वाज इट थैंक यू फॉर लास्ट टाइम हाउ कैन आई हेल्प यू आई वांटेड टू आस्क यू अबाउट द ड्यूक ऑफ ओरफ्लैम डू यू इंटेंड टू गो अलोंग विद दिस प्लान बट टू टेल यू द ट्रूथ आई एम इन टू माइंड्स It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. And she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls, so I better go. Thanks again. So, this season, which rank did you start? It seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that. 
if nothing else. मेरा वीकेंड तो सही गया ना भाई शुरू होते ही सुबह से साइड कोस्ट कर रहा हूँ काफ़ी थोड़े साइड कोस्ट बहुत ही सही थे थोड़े ओके इश थे ये अभी के लिए तो ओके इश ही लग रहा है लोअर बता रहा है पूरी दुनिया के वो अच्छा लग रहा है पर बस एक दूसरे से एक जगह से दूसरे जगह जाके बात करना थोड़ा बोरिंग हो जाता है So Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions. and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say they themselves are of a different opinion and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers meanwhile are content to follow their orders and not just because of the duke's rank but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrack, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in along with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it. the protecting what i care about protecting northreach i honestly don't know when those monsters will return but i'm certain they're not finished with us yet and when they do come back we need to be ready for them we need to stand together all of us and with you to lead us my lady i reckon we can do it it was you who finally convinced me clive there's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe Indeed. All of us standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope, and one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, my lady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. There may be hope for Northreach yet, especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I for my part shall continue to work upon the duke. in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands but I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again until then Clive until then Despite my repeated advances, his eminence has proven a difficult conquest. Fortunately, I am nothing if not persistent. But, be that as it may, I might yet need you to press the point. Okay, abhi bhi thode side quests hain, kahaniyan hain jo puri tarah hui nahi hain, jo mere hisab se agle main mission ke baad aayenge. ओके सारे साइड क्वेश्चन हो गए 